Are you an aspiring graduate and you want to become system administrator? Are you working on premise as a system administrator? Are you working as an IT pro using the traditional methodologies? Is your career defined by your skill at administering local physical servers, databases, network switches, routers and your title fails under system administrator, operator, support, etc, etc. You've heard that system admin career is dying from other articles, blog posts, other vlogs and now seeing few system admin jobs in the market. Before diving deep in this video, let me tell you this analogy in few seconds. One day, I visited the graveyard of careers where they'll be buried once they are no longer relevant. But guess what? I did not locate the graveyard where system administrator career is going to be buried. It's not there yet. I then visited a hospital where careers that are about to fade away are treated, moved along the corridor of hospital path. I could not find system administrator career. Then I bound into one theater room and Dr. Redman was treating system administrator career. This is what happened. Now I'm back with I've been born again. Master, hit the switch. Igor, he's alive! So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how system admin or IT operation is involving, not dying, not going anywhere, but have been born again like what Dr. Redman said. I will also share the next smart move for system admin, IT pro that I used five years ago and turned my career into six-figure solar job, career security and attracted international market so that you also scale up your career. Welcome back to the Texan Master where we talk about streams, knowledge, end ops, leadership and lifestyle in tech. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and to ring the notification bell so that you will not miss out any new content as I upload a new video every week. Let me begin by saying system administrator jobs will die only when computers can build, install and maintain themselves without human intervention. How system administrator or IT operation is involving not dying? To understand more on how system admin is involving not dying is by understanding the technology stack. That would be very helpful. So before our public cloud, many companies were running the full stack of hardware and software internal, which is on premise, the traditional hardware, which is the whole stack. So one of the reasons companies move to cloud computing is so that they can move up the stack by using services like infrastructure as a services, platforms as a services, software as a services, which covers up most of the bottom layer so that they can get these services to an extent of vendor which is public cloud so they can just concentrate you know on the application and data in the stack so cloud computing is now you know the centerpiece of digital transformation you know that's what my opinion and experience and uh has shown that uh, for most organizations cloud computing is no longer an option <laughs> but it must move you know it is just a matter of time for those who are still 100 percent on premise when they move to a hybrid or 100 percent you know public cloud uh this frees up the company to have less internal IT systems and potential less system administrator as well. So not to worry about investing into data center equipment and to hire staff, you know, to manage the hardware. Also, know that COVID-19 crisis has also increased the public cloud adoption in recent months due to social distancing and lockdown. So the demand of computer hardware engineers, server admin technicians, and array of, you know, both hardware and desktop support jobs has declined, you know, in direct proportion to the growth and the popularity of cloud platforms and everything as a service architecture as you know it is true that many services are moving to the cloud and devops cultures is pushing automating most of those uh, manual stuff but to say that system uh, admin jobs will disappear because of this trade it's not true organizations still you know uh, need system administrators to operate to maintain that everything is a code in the cloud space the short answer is no 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 system admin jobs 
jobs are not going away in any expected future and are likely never going away at all. That's my opinion. You can also share in the comment section what you think regarding the future of system admin. But to a varying degree, you know, let me tell you that that system admin jobs will be different from what used to be uh, before cloud native transformation today due to automated operating system configurations, deployments, Employers are more interested in people who know how to manage software services and configurations in the cloud. Keep it in mind, you know, that there is no amount of cloud automation that can stand in the hands and the mind of system administrators. Next smart move for system admin IT Pro. The key for system administrator uh, themselves is to embrace this change and embrace cloud computing. That's the great smart move to learn new cloud native skills. That's what I did five years ago and it transformed my career in a great way in terms of our career security, job opportunities and good salary. So as the role and the responsibility of our traditional ops, you know, system uh, admin engineers, it's involving as well job titles. <laughs> now we have Set reliability engineers, DevOps engineers, cloud engineers, etc., etc. Nowadays, if you can't understand a software development lifecycle, read, understand, and deploy code, as well understand system configuration, you will not have job security, and you will not earn much. First move: learn high-level programming. Now is the perfect time to roll up your sleeves, you know, cracking out uh, and get cracking by picking high level language like Python, you know, start to use the R uh, for automation and understand software development processes. Why <laughs> learning programming band? Because this tech stack that we talked about above, you know, promotes everything as a code, which is an approach, you know, of defining and managing the ops related layer through code is that ops team can treat it as another piece of software. The, this idea of everything as a code grew to another aspect in cloud native, like uh, as infrastructure as a code, using Terraform, configuration as a code, using Ansible, Chief, you know, and uh, CNCD as a code, you know, using Cycle CI, Jenkins, uh, everything, uh, environment as a code, using Docker, you know, Oculus Administration is called using Kubernetes. So I really understand that system admin and IT Pro have been carrying out system administration tasks manually long back. Be it desktop machines, configurations, server configuration, operating system installation, software installation, or setting up VMs. Everything was manual, time consuming, you know, and error prone, you know, until DevOps conquered the software development and the delivery space. Second move, learn cloud computing and learn it. So cloud skills are in high demand as a system admin and anything you are going to see is a transfer of skill set and towards managing and providing cloud resources. As many organizations adapting, you know, cloud computing, containers, server automation and software defined networking, which are meant, you know, to simplify IT operation as these technologies leads, you know, to a faster growing of huge and manageable systems. The most common question I get asked from people who want to kickstart, you know, working with cloud is how do I get started? <laughs> the best way to learn this stuff is by doing, you know, not that no many public cloud providers, vendors offer trials of their cloud technology. Uh, their free uh, tiers, you know, provide you with ability, you know, to explore and try out services uh, for, for free of charge up to the specified limits for each services. For example, you know, uh, AWS. The free tier is uh, comprised of three different types of offerings like a 12 month free tier and an always free offer and a, a short term trials, you know. And then there's Azure, you know, 12 months of popular free, you know, and services and 200 credits, you know, to explore Azure for 30 days and always free 25 plus services of compute, database, storage, networking, and security. And then there's cloud, cloud platform, you know. You know, put Google Cloud into work with 300 credit free to spend over 90 days and start building on our own on Google Cloud with 20 plus always free products, you know. So these are just the three main public uh, uh, providers. Know that there are many. So what can I do with this uh, free account back? Start to deploy Windows and Linux virtual machines, containers, serverless across, you know, cloud and hybrid environments. Create workloads, you know, that scale up 
scale down, you know, based on demand, deliver software, end-to-end, -end, you know, DevOps solution, that would be great for you. So then for Linux, because 90% of, uh, of all cloud infrastructure operates on Linux due to its uh, main advantages, you know, know that Linux is uh, its name of large family of open source operating system based on the Linux kernel. There are many versions from different vendors. The best way, you know, to learn it honestly is just to install Linux at home and use that as much as you can, you know, you break things you get stuck and then you have to fix and it you know and the process you learn you know Linux you know please note that you know upcoming dedicated videos about kickstarting career in cloud engineering DevOps site reliability engineer it's coming anytime soon just watch the space third move understand lean agile DevOps so Lean Hydro and DevOps focus on organizing culture by creating you know, multidisciplinary teams, reducing waste, focusing on the customer, embracing change and continuously delivering value. You know? So these methodologies are, are appeared at different times uh, to fulfill different needs. So DevOps comes about to help IT departments to unite the development and the operational teams while at least embracing the Lean and the Hydro methodologies. So technical and business requirements are more challenging and IT service becomes more and more complex, <laughs> be it system admin, programmer, or any other professional who can work in the software development process. Yes, it's place in DevOps. Not that as a system admin, you can work full time, you know, as a DevOps engineer. Uh, uh, DevOps technical and business skills are in high demand. Learn how to manage software version with Git or GitLab, you know, package with Docker, you know, deploy with Jenkins, run with VMs and Kubernetes, and monitor with Grafana, Prometheus, in full automated way, you know. Soon in the upcoming videos, I'll be sharing how to transition, you uh, know, to DevOps roles as a system admin. Final thought, software development is moving fast and system admin need to move as quickly to deliver value. You know, system admin would think food is dying. Don't put in the attempt, you know, to keep learning and becoming the best version of themselves in tech. Of course, I understand the field uh, changes frequently, but if you keep learning, then you will be good enough with new stuff and get a job anywhere and pay you very well and you keep skiing in the tech world. As for me, I have transformed my career more than five times. Uh, you know, please share in the comment section other things you think will be the best, you know, to involve great as a system admin and I'll remain in the game. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video up to this end. As always, keep on skiing in the tech world.